Pump storage hydropower can also help. Excess electricity is used to pump water to the top of these dams, where it is stored as potential energy. When it is needed, the water is released to drive turbines. The largest one of this kind, China's Feng Power Station, proved its ability to help the 2022 Winter Olympics run on 100% renewable energy, in line with China's promise for a Green Games. However, batteries are catching up as the most scalable type of great-scale storage. CATL has supplied over 30% of global EV batteries. Now their products have a new place to go. The solar and wind farms to hook up new energy with the grid. But for now, this combination isn't cost-effective because lithium-ion batteries have a relatively low energy density. A basic science breakthrough is needed. And assembly lines have seen some inspiring improvement. This Thinner foil means more electrode material could be packed in the same size battery cell, increasing energy density. How thick is 4.5 microns? <laughs> From raw materials to a cell like this, carbon emissions per kilowatt hour battery capacity, it's about 60 kilograms. Pan Xuexing's job is to track the carbon footprint. If a battery is what we use to tackle climate change, it better be a product of net zero emissions. But in the eyes of Lu Wengao, the future of grid storage has already been produced. Park in, plug in, and turn on the system, and Liu Wengang can take over the batteries of his colleagues 300 EVs. Cars will instantly become storage for 2 megawatts of solar panels, powering the entire factory. With those EVs and solar panels, his factory will become a microgrid, which is a part of the city grid, participating in the more complex interaction. Energy flows through the cars, and when the shift is over, people drive home in charged EVs. Take 
个就是我们以后的那个景象，是吧？就是所有的车都是都是电池，然后它现在在往电网去反补这个电。对，这就是未来的储能电站，这就是固定储能。这是固定的。我们现在又分两种嘛，叫电动车，叫移动储能。By 2040, China could have 300 million EVs with a combined battery 20 billion kilowatt hour capacity, equal to the electricity consumed in China for a day. 是希望把我规模化的电动汽车代替了它原来要单独投资的储能电站。这样的话，对于分布式光伏来讲，不需要再额外投资储能。We are witnessing a revolution, but fossil fuels won't be gone overnight, so carbon emissions will be still there. But if we can store the electricity, can we store CO2?